Sundar Vishwanathan our faculty. On the dais, we have Justice Sharma, Vice Chancellor Rajiv Rajesh Tempe, Mr. Gogra, and most reverend uh, our General uh, Koshik, the Chairman, Madhya Pradesh, uh, SPPERC. And the audience, delegates, professors, scholars, students, guests, and everyone. Well, I am not competent to speak on the topic, but I, from the title, I can understand it is very important. Because everybody has its own limit, and one must know where do we stand, how much we can intervene, how much we can uh, speak on the different issues. Since you are in Shulin University, you have come at a time, sir, when we are rejoicing our achievements in uh, QS Asia ranking. Few days back, <coughs> result came. Shulin University number one is the only university from the Madhya Pradesh. <laughs> Number two, in citations, research citations, it is the best in the country. And ninth best in Asia. What does this show? That the Shulni University, established in 2009, has come up as a research university of the country. That was the dream when this university was we dreamt that then, that by 2022, Shulni University will be among the 200 global universities. Though we have not reached that point, our rank is, in the time the higher education is 351 to 400. But we are the second best in the country in the time the higher education. Friends, everything is achievable. I, I recall when Dr. Kalam came here and on the dais I said, Sir, yeah. our mission is everywhere in the uh, corner of this university there is written that surely university will be among 200 global universities by 2022. That when we formulated this mission, we were not knowing how difficult it is. And also, when none of the Indian universities among 200, even today, in the times of education, none, there is no Indian universities which is among the 200. However, in the QS, there are two ranking systems. One is the QS, the other is the times of education. There are three Indian universities, the IIT Bombay, IIT uh, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and the third is the IIT Delhi. IQS is perception based, how the people think about the university. Times higher education is uh, research based. When we were in the process of thinking, what should we do? Nobody will know us. After 10 years, 12 years, we have to build up a perception. So we, we have selected the science. We have selected the, to, to convert the university into science to university. So that on the strength of which, we should later be you know, have earned the perception and become at the top in the QS also. Though we are not behind there also because ultimately if you are the best then in other parameters also you are the best. So why I am saying is for the youngsters it is a lesson. Dream, work hard and then try to build your strategies to achieve whatever you want to do. Everything is achievable. This is the, my experience and my knowledge because I am an octogenarian. Uh, I would say that me and Dr. Jorka is sitting here. We are the two 80 years old person in this gathering. We are still active. Uh, so this, when Dr. Nandan came to me, you, he said, I want to organize your seminar. Like, uh, then what is the strategy? So I gave him my tips. I told him that when I was a student, when I, when I was a teacher like you of your age, I will organize seminar every year or alternate years and ask the authors to contribute the story, <coughs> then bring out the book, compiled book of the articles, and then I, I can also recall the last thing which 
and would like to add that Dr. Amba Swami Gautam, one of the largest uh, forum he spoke. Dr. Kosala is a young enterprising scientist. Every year he uh, publishes a book and his contribution in generating literature mm -hmm. in the field of forest science cannot be adequately expressed in words. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody.